Leonardo Energy, the web community of sustainable energy professionals, presents this documentary about concentration photovoltaics technology. Does concentrating photovoltaics use the same cells as flat photovoltaics? The CPV can use also silicon cells as flat PV, but they have said that you can use small cells, so you can use very efficient cells, so it's better to use more efficient cells. Normally the CPV use uh, as a neurogallion uh, cells, it's also called 3-5 cells, that, that is called so because we use the elements of the table, uh, chemical elements for the group 3 and 5. But the better advantage is to use multi-junction cells, because the multi-junction cells of these 3-5 uh, type of cells, we can provide better the, the spectrum. Each part of the cell, if we use for, exa for example 3 junctions, each part of the cell can use a very a different part of the spectrum, so we can profit better the solar spectrum, or we can use better the solar radiation. Typically, for example, the efficiencies, the silicon cells have 27%. Uh, the record efficiency in a, in a 3.5 cell is 40.7, it's really much more. Um, typically, commercially, the, the cell silicon cells have at maximum 25%, and in a 3.5 cell can use 38% of the efficiency. And typically in the flat panel we use silicon cell with 80% and in the CPV 38%, so almost double of the efficiency. Does that mean that system efficiency will be 38%? Not, unfortunately not, because we have after the cell of the efficiency of the cell we have the optical efficiency. And the optical efficiency can be between 85% and 95%. And after we have the efficiency of the system, because we have the alignment of the cells into the system or the alignment of the modules into the tracker. So at the end we are going to have between 18 and 25% uh, in of the efficiency of the system in the CPV and um, between 11 and 13 in the flat PV. So we have higher efficiency than the flat PV, but we can, we can still improve very much. What are the different technologies used in CPV? Oh, there are a lot of uh, types of concentrators with different technologies. So we can have, for example, depending on the tracker system, we can have one axis tracker. In this case, we can have only low concentration. So first, the concentration can be low, so between 2 and 10, for example, two, between 2 and 40 better. Medium concentration between 40 and 300, and high concentration between 300 and 1000 or 2000. Depending on the tracking system, we can have one axis tracker, uh, and we can have, in this case, only low concentration, or we can use uh, two axis tracker. In this case, we can use as much concentration as we want. It depends also of the technology. We, we can have, for example, linear uh, concentrators. In this case, we, it's only low concentration, like the parabolic system. Or we can have parabolic system with independent cells, like uh, solar system uh, that is done in, in Australia. In this case, the, the cells are separate and they use a, a cooling system. Or we can use compact system, like isophoton or concentric solar focus, and we have passive heatsink. We don't use cooling system. It depends on the optics also. We have different types of optics. We can have reflectors or lens or uh, total reflection system. Uh, depending on this type of system, we can have also low concentration, medium concentration or high concentration. We have here two examples of uh, CPV technology. This one is a refractive system. They use a Fresnel lens and behind this cell, the small cell, they have a very small cell of one millimeter square. Here we have another example, it's a reflection system. They have here a reflector, the direct solar radiation come here and reflect to this mirror and the mirror reflect again inside the cell. They use here a one um, cell of one centimeter square. They are the typical system that we can use in the CPV technology, refractive and reflexive system. In conclusion, Concentration photovoltaics presents several advantages. Most of its applications do not require cooling water, which is certainly a key factor in sunny, hot and dry climates. Additionally, this technology is less sensitive to hot climates than flat photovoltaics, 
the efficiency is maintained under high temperatures. Concentration photovoltaics is modular and scalable, which allows moderate investments at the beginning and power extension later if required. Contrary to thermal process, where a minimum size of installation is required to be competitive, concentration photovoltaics makes economic sense from small scale to large scale. And finally, the time required to become operational is shorter than for other technologies. Some difficulties are still being solved, such as tracking system accuracy, stiffness of tracker structures, and intermittency of power output. Current concentration photovoltaic systems reach an overall efficiency of 25%, to be compared with 14% for flat photovoltaics, with the prospect of reaching 30% in the coming years. The land use is reduced to 2 hectares per megawatt, and the price expectation is around 10 euro cents per kilowatt hour in the next 5 to 10 years for southern Europe. It is lower still for sunnier locations, reaching grid parity. End of part 2